What's up guys, I'm Josh Newland. I'm an NCAA Division III college soccer player. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a preseason exhibition match against an NAI school. Josh Newland keeping an attempt on goal from happening. All right, so if you've been keeping up with the videos, um, you know that I'm in my preseason right now, but I'm just about to wrap that up and we're about to jump into our regular season games. So this one, just showing you guys what it's like, um, short trip on the road to go play um, against another fairly local school there in the NAI, so a different division and league from us. And if you're interested in GPS trackers for footballers or soccer players, Stick around towards the end as well because I tried out the Soccer B light um, in this match and I'm just show you guys some of those features, how the app works um, towards the end after I show you the game and the vlog and the highlights. So stick around for that at the end. But here we go. I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning guys. Today we got an exhibition game um, down in San Antonio, just about an hour drive away. So excited for that. It's our second and also last exhibition before games start counting to our record, so technically this is still preseason. As for right now, I just made a little breakfast kind of snack. Uh, English muffin, peanut butter and honey on there. Some good carbs, I load up. Um, got my pregame shirt on, so I'll wear it to warm up in. Now as far as boots, the beauties I'll be wearing today. Um, Superfly 8s now, I think is what they're on. And then I got some, uh, you can't see it, the maroon reflective laces. I don't know if y'all watch Josh from SR4U, Soccer Reviews for You. Um, he makes those kind of laces, so I like the maroon, matches their school colors and stuff. And speaking of Josh from SR4U, he has also got his own uh, grip sock brand, so I tried out a pair of those, Pure Grip Socks Pro. You're wearing these today in the match. So just excited for it. Um, we're gonna leave in about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, head over there, and it's just gonna be a quick trip there and back. Just gonna eat this real quick. I'll take you guys along with me for the ride. Thank you for your support and enjoy the scrimmage. Oh, my God. 
So as I mentioned before, in this match I use the Soccer B Lite, and as you can see here, you can download the app on the App Store. You need the app to be able to use it to see all the stats and stuff. It's pretty simple to download, pretty simple app to use. So what I first did the night before my game, um, after I'd received my Soccer B and the tracker in the mail, just go to the app, click on the honeycomb icon, um, make sure that it's turned on, you hold down the button on the soccer bee. You need your Bluetooth on as well. It'll search around for a minute then it should find it and you can register it. And then I just check to make sure that it's updated so I could use it the next day in the match. They came out with a new app recently so you can also transfer your old data over to the new app. And as you can see here, this is the night after the match. So I'm just turning the, the soccer bee on there waiting for it to connect to the app. Then when I pull it up this time, the data from my match is there. It's available. It just takes a few moments to transfer it over. And once that is all transferred over, I can then access uh, my data, stats, and everything. This is in fast forward, so it took a few minutes. But once it's put in, you have to manually put in a few um, things here and there as far as you know how many minutes you played, the time of day that it was, position you're playing and once you save that then you select the field so it'll be you know, a GPS kind of satellite picture of the field you just select the specific area you're playing on so that way if you're like warming up on the side um, that won't count towards your data and factor into all the stats for that you can uh, get that out of the way by selecting the field you're actually playing on selecting the pitch and then once you save that information you are ready to go. You can look at all of your stats on the app. There's quite a bit to see. Even though this is a soccer bee light, the only really difference between that and the, the normal soccer bee, which I've used before as well, is that you can't do a full match replay. But as you can see here, my average rate or kind of pace, um, sprint distance, total number of sprints, heat map as far as on the field, where I was moving around most, which is very interesting. Um, specifically for your position, see the kind of runs you're making, and as you can see here, you can look at it also splits it up in between sessions. So, for example, first half versus second half, there's a change in how hard you're working, how fast you're going. So, that is the Soccer B Light quick little review there, and just showing you a little tutorial of how it works. Um, I recommend 
And a big shout out to Soccer Bee, they sent me this one for free as well. I've done another review previously on my channel, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link for it. But a big thank you to them, and if you're looking for an affordable GPS tracker and you're a footballer, this is one that I definitely recommend. Alright, so that's that. The you know, scrimmage was frustrating. Uh, we lost 3-1, to one, and I'm not going to lie, it's one of the, towards the end especially, one of the sloppiest dirtiest, worst refereeing I've ever had in a game in my life, but that's how it goes. It's also really frustrating because, you know, soccer, football is one of the very few sports, maybe the only one I can think of where you can dominate and totally deserve to win, and somehow you don't. You know, we give up three goals, two of them were questionable PKs, one of them is a weird kind of rebound in the box, and we make better chances, more chances, but we end up losing 3-1, to one. and if you just look at that result, uh, you would think we didn't play very well. So it's just very frustrating, but it's amazing how the sport can really humble you and really makes you focus on the little things, on your finishing, passing, technique, all those things, because they all add up, and at the end of the game, you know, one or two plays throughout the whole game can be the difference, and oftentimes it is. So that's the way it went, but I'm still proud of how we played. We fought till the end, you know, should have cleaned things up a little bit, but it's just the start, it's just the beginning. So I think we got a good season ahead of us coming. As far as myself, uh, wasn't totally expecting it, but I ended up playing three different positions in the game. You might have noticed watching the highlights. You know, I was playing winger on the left, uh, cam, or you know, the 10 spot on the right, and then I ended up going back to about right center back uh, the last like 30 minutes or so of the game. So definitely wasn't expecting that going into this year. Um, and it seems like I will be a player playing a variety of positions, um, depending on how things go. But that I always train to try to be versatile. I've tried to train intentionally to be good with both feet, to, to understand the game from any position, to you know have a good shot, have a good pass. Uh, be able to defend, be able to make runs. So I'm glad I can put that to use, you know, being a center back. You don't get a whole lot of chances to shoot or dribble. So it does make me a bit more anxious because it's not just one simple spot. Um, and I've also played center back for the last like three years of college. So it's a little bit of an adjustment, but it's still exciting. And no matter what the case is, you know, I just want to play as much as I can and make as big a difference as I can. So so like I said, I'm just excited for the rest of the season. I think we'll do well as a team, and I think as long as I'm in form, I'm healthy, I'm confident, you know, I'm sure I can go out there and make some plays, make a difference, whatever position I end up playing. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your support. Stay tuned. There'll be plenty more vlogs for my senior year. Um, next up, I'm going to be recording our trip to Arkansas for a full weekend of away games. So I'm really excited for that. I hope you guys are too. If that's stuff that interests you, please subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you know when I post. Normally, I've been following a schedule about every Wednesday and Saturday or Sunday, trying to get to a week. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I will see you in the next one.